Dream of Italy is made possible by... Monograms. All-in-one vacation packages that take care of everything. Because we believe travelers should spend their time enjoying the sights, feeling like a local, feeling completely at ease. Monograms. The Perillo Tours Foundation. For 73 years, we've been bringing travelers to Italy. It's where our heart is. First class escorted tours and custom vacations. Italy, the dream destination. PerilloTours.com, 1-800-431-1515. The main point helps guide business owners from the road they've been traveling to the dreams they have for the next. La Dolce Via Travel. We make Italy yours. La Dolce Via Travel dot com. Weekend in Italy dot com. It's all about family. Italy Ancestry dot com. My Italian family. Emilia Romagna. And also made possible by. I'm Kathy McKay. In this series, we'll meet the authentic characters, uncover the hidden treasures, and discover what makes Italy the most fascinating country in the world. Join me as we dream of Italy. Strong and gentle. This is the motto of Abruzzo. Just two hours from Rome, but little known outside Italy, those who've heard of Abruzzo may know it because of a particular wine, the red Montepulciano d'Abruzzo. It is one of the region's most famous exports, along with its people. Once known as Abruzzi e Molise, nearly a million citizens emigrated from here between 1901 and 1915 alone. Abruzzo is the greenest region in Europe, filled with mountain landscapes, national parks, and nature reserves. It is also known for its seaside, and that's where we start our journey. On the Trabocchi Coast, stretching along the stunning Adriatic from Pescara to Vasto. Trabocchi were traditionally stilted fishing huts, but many have found new life as restaurants, serving the freshest seafood imaginable. Bye, bye! Bye! <laughs> Luca, che cosa facciamo? Allora, alziamo la bilancia. La bilancia è questa rete molto grande che è collegata a questo che è l'argano e serve per catturare i pesci sì. di passaggio sul fondale. Quando i pesci passano sopra la rete, si alza la bilancia e ovviamente rimangono catturati all'interno della rete stessa. So we drop the net, the fish swim, swim in between, we pull the net up and it catches the fish. Today, Chef Luca is teaching me the ropes at Trabocco Cungarelli. Okay. Pulling up the large net. Sì. He's no, strong. no, penso di no. Trabocchi sono nati tanti anni fa, a cavallo tra il 1600 e il 1700, da un piccolo gruppo di contadini che eh, avevano notato la pescosità di questo tratto di costa adriatica, ma non sapevano nuotare. So they didn't know how to swim, they were farmers, and they were afraid of the ocean. Sì, 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 avevano paura del mare. So this is a good way to fish without swimming. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Teamwork. Insieme. Perfect. Eccolo qua. We have them. Quindici? Eh, una trentina. Trenti. We have about 30. Yeah. Let's eat. So some anchovies. Oh, look at that scampi. And a filet for me. Grazie. He likes those. <laughs> Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Oh, you just eat the whole one. I, I took a bite. Luca, this is so fresh. We caught it 20 feet away. Cooked it 15 feet away. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Sapore di mare. Sapore di mare. Mm -hmm. 
Abruzzo is full of surprises. Vasto is perched above the Adriatic Sea with winding streets that date back to medieval times. Orchestra Popolare del Sotarello is dedicated to preserving the traditional song and dance of Abruzzo. This is the very essence of Italy, traditional alongside the modern. remote, Abruzzo has always been favored by monks, hermits, and saints. The beautiful Benedictine Abbey of San Giovanni in Venere stands on a hill overlooking the rugged Adriatic coastline. Risale al 1165 così come la vediamo oggi ma all'inizio era un tempio pagano dedicato alla Dea Venere conciliatrice. Noi passionisti siamo arrivati in questa bellissima abbazia soltanto nel 1954. L'abbazia era ricca di possedimenti terrieri donati da eh, tanti conti, marchesi della zona, ma una cosa molto originale e caratteristica in questa zona, l'olivo, e anche sotto al nostro bel vedere è ricca di oliveti. Certo. Soprattutto questa abbazia si staglia solenne sulla costa dei Trabocchi. We travel inland, leaving the beautiful Adriatic behind, into the heart of Abruzzo, to just outside the city of Solmona. There aren't as many donkeys as there used to be in Abruzzo, and their purpose at this farm, Asinomania, is far from traditional. Eugenia Malonis is the farm's owner and a therapist. He's using donkeys to help people with disabilities and stress. Donoterapia è una coterapia. Pronti? Sì. Prima cosa una carezza là. Si può stroke the donkey. A Sinomania's therapy team takes me through a typical session. Paparella! Brava, brava, bravissima. Adesso abbracciano la, si abbracciano, si non giro forte. It's easy to give her a hug. Brava, brava, molto bene. This donkey, Paparella, is so relaxed it's contagious. Okay? Allunga le braccia e accarezza la pancia all'asino. No matter how I moved, she didn't care. She made me calm just by being with her. Bravissima, bravissima. Adesso, slowly, lentamente, lentamente. Vieni a sedere qui davanti. Allarga le braccia. Attenzione, fai tutti i movimenti che ti dico io molto lentamente. Vai giù lentamente. She had no fear, and she passed that along to me. How do you feel? I love it. It's... I feel like I'm on a beach and I'm just relaxing. Very slow. Lentamente, lentamente, lentamente. See? Bravissima. Oh, bravissima. Brava. Brava. Wow. That was really relaxing. Better than a spa. I think Paparella is the new Xanax. Wow. Ciao. Grazie. Ciao, ciao.
I'm getting a little more than therapy today. So you pull it down. Okay. I can't do it. I can't do it. She's going to hit me with her tail. Oh, from the top. Okay, okay. See, see, see. See. I got it. There. Wow. I'm milking a donkey. Look, that was my best one yet. Whew. Hard work. Martina, thank you for cooperating. She's happy. Prego. Mmm, it tastes like skim milk. It's good. Buona, buona. Buona, è buona. È buona, leggero, leggero, molto leggero. Martina, grazie. Vedi? So Mona is a charming city of 25,000 that throughout history has survived earthquakes and invasions. Today, it is filled with eye-catching architecture as well as cafes and restaurants. So Mona is a sweet place and home to Italy's famous candy-coated almonds, known as confetti. Mario, how long has your family been making confetti? Uh, so far, it's 234 years. Oh, so you're relatively new. Um, yes, I'm relatively <laughs> young. I'm relatively young. We are the seventh generation. Amazing. Amazing, yes. They are made uh, with the old tradition. See, what uh, what was done 220 years ago is done now, practically. No, it, no, it doesn't change. Uh, we use uh, this, this almond, we peel it, uh, we dry it, and then uh, we put just sugar, no other additives, just natural. Most of the almonds we use are from Sicily, from the era of Avola. They are supposed to be the best. In yes. the world. They are known as the best in the world. There are so many different colors of confetti, and I know each one has a meaning. Okay, the green one is for the first formal engagement of the couple. Mm -hmm. The white is for the wedding. I always okay. see them at weddings. The yellow is for the divorce. No. Oh, yes, it is. Now we have confetti for divorce. Yeah, yes, it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have the babies, the two babies, obviously. The boy, girl. The boy, the girl, and the graduation. The right. Ah, oh, when they the grow right up. The They're just beautiful. They're right. This building uh, is National Museum, but also it's not just the history of the family, it's the history of the city. Mm -hmm. The city is in that museum, practically. Because it's really tied yes, to the confetti. A, yes, yeah, they are bonded together. Confetti is so popular in Somona, Vincenzo at Cafe Ovidio has invented a way to drink it. Buongiorno. Una cappuccino, per favore. Posso proporle una bevanda alternativa al cappuccino? Mm. Un caffè al confetto. Il nostro caffetto. Posso prepararglielo? Interessante. Come vuole. Grazie. Lo preparo subito. Prego, signora, per lei. Bellissima. Grazie. No, 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 il cucchiaino non va utilizzato per questo tipo di caffè. Oh, va don't be stir it. Va bevuto senza girarlo. Just va drink it. Va miscelato mentre lo beve. Va bene. Mm. Come si chiama? Questo è il suo nome, è il caffetto. Mm. Praticamente è una miscela di caffè e, e pasta al confetto. Coffee and confetti. Eh, sì, e, conf e caffè. Wow. Il suo nome. It's so creamy and almondy and delicious. Mmm. It's like a dessert. Come un dolce. Sì, è un dessert. Sì. Dessert di somona. <laughs> di somona, ovviamente. Sì. Perché... You can only get this in this cafe and only in somona. Certo, solo in somona. Bravissimo. Grazie. Complimenti. Grazie, sì. I'll keep drinking. Mmm. A few hills and valleys away from Solmona is the town of Cuculo. In the Church of Madonna delle Grazie, Armando Poletti tells me about the town's patron saint. 
Sì, San Domenico è il patrono di Cocullo, è protettore dai morsi di animali, qualunque sia cani, eh, lupi, eh, serpenti, tutti. Non si hanno notizie storiche certe. Comunque, eh, di sicuro nel, nei, nei secoli passati c'era il, eh, il rito, dei, cioè c'era un rito collegato alla dea Angizia con i, i serpenti che venivano posti e donati a questo, ma sicuramente è di origine pagana. This festival in honor of St. Dominic dates back to pre-Roman times. On the 1st of May, the town swells from about 300 people to 30,000. During the procession, the saint's statue is carried through the streets while people drape snakes over it and themselves, all in gratitude for the saint who rid the village of snakes more than 600 years ago. Before the festival begins, the town needs snakes and Armando is Coculo's premier snake wrangler. How do you catch the snakes? Allora, il, il segreto è non, è non far rumore, perché il serpente, essendo un animale che sta per terra, se avverte le vibrazioni del terreno. How do you track the snakes? Allora, i, i serpenti hanno il microchip perché noi stiamo facendo uno studio di conservazione della specie e tutti gli esemplari catturati sono stati in precedenza eh, microchippati. E noi a Cogullo adesso stiamo sui 400 microchip. La mia relazione dei serpenti è innanzitutto di rispetto dell'animale. Mm, ho già detto che praticamente per me rappresenta un tramite fra il terreno e, il, e lo spirituale, per cui io tratto i serpenti come dei figli. Oh, like your children. Eh, tu consideri che io mh, ho un serpente, clano, questo, questo è l'unico anno che non l'ho catturato, eh, che l'ho catturato per 27 anni di fila, c'è il nome di mia moglie. Oh, what's her name? Alessia. Alessia. So do you kiss Alessia? Like your wife? Mm, yes. Perché? Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> After the celebration, all of the snakes are returned to the wild until the next year. Grapes for wine have grown here since Roman times. Montepulciano is the most famous grape and wine in Abruzzo. So look at these grapes. Yes, it's beautiful. It's, I am very proud of, of this uh, grape. My family uh, lo love this kind of uh, vineyard. There is wind, there is uh, a sun, mountain, mountains. sun, and uh, there is uh, a lot of nature. It's beautiful. <laughs> His family has been making wine here in the Valle Poligna for eight generations. We put together the future and even the age, uh, the old age. Future and the past. Yes. Together, together. in your wine. Yes. The Montepulciano grape thrives everywhere in Abruzzo, from the seacoast to the mountains, taking on the regional differences of soil, sun, wind, rain and temperature. If uh, you compare different kind of Montepulciano, you find every time a different kind of wine. You can feel the uh, vanilla, mm -hmm. you can feel uh, the pepper, mm, you can feel uh, the nice. leather, mm. the chocolate, uh, and you feel all characteristic of our, our soil. Grand Sasso National Park lies the small village of Capistrano. This is where, in 1934, the statue of the warrior of Capistrano was unearthed. Dating back to the 6th century BC, it is thought to be a funeral effigy for the king of the local Vestini tribe. Today, archaeologist Olivia Minazzi is showing me a more recent find. Like this? Like this, fantastic. Capistrano for us is important because it's the, basically the place of the find of the Capistrano warrior. The statue has been very important for the history locally from the discovery till today. 
The tombs excavated here are approximately the same time as the Guerriero di Capestrano. In that area, the, he is excavating the small sword, which is called Gladium, which is quite rare and it's also quite well preserved. He's going to remove it. We found a sword and two uh, spears, and this is usual uh, content for a uh, warrior. The most difficult parts are the very small bones. Mm. That's fascinating. And we are trying to build a project to involve the population here, to train the students in their own land, which is important because the feeling of the people living this, this land is important. There's lots of rocks right here. <laughs> in an archaeological site, you never finish the work, and you, you know it's not your site, and someone is going to continue for you, your job. That's why the student has to be trained. That's why the collaborators and the colleagues will continue this work, because it's important for the area, for the land, for the territory, not for me. Abruzzo is known as the greenest region in Europe for good reason. One third of its territory is set aside for three national parks and 38 protected nature reserves. Many traditions here started with the Transumanza, the twice yearly migration of sheep that has been going on for centuries. Once there were millions of sheep, now there's a fraction of that. The wide open spaces of Gran Sasso National Park attract outdoor enthusiasts from all over Europe. In what feels like the middle of nowhere, we come across a popular roadside stop filled with hikers and campers, a place to grill our own arrosticini. Buongiorno. Trenta arrosticini. Prego. So I think this is the easiest thing I've ever cooked. It smells like a good old fashioned barbecue. Look at him. So you turn them all at once. Italians bond over food, and these strangers soon became friends who taught us how to cook this traditional shepherd's meal. Woo! It's a hot day, and you can feel the heat from the grill. How many do you eat? Quanti mangiare? Man mangia. Quanti mangia? Venti. Venti! Venti. 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 Aspetta. Aspetta! Gli arrosticini si mangiano per fame, sì. per gusto e per abitudine. Gli abruzzesi li mangiano per tre motivi. I lost some. Finito anche per me. Grazie. Cin cin. Salute. Yeah. Buona. Molto buona. Molto. Very good. Very good. In a beautiful setting. Good food, good views. You can't have a meal in Italy without the local wine. Monte Pulciano d'Abruzzo. Salute. Salute. Abruzzo. Viva l'Abruzzo. Viva Arrosticini. Viva Arrosticini. <laughs> They're sizzling and they smell delicious. visited Abruzzo years ago. A local exclaimed, you found us. Once you do find Abruzzo, it is a hard place to forget. Chin chin, salute.
Dream of Italy is made possible by... Monograms. All-in-one vacation packages that take care of everything. Because we believe travelers should spend their time enjoying the sights, feeling like a local, feeling completely at ease. Monograms. The Perillo Tours Foundation. For 73 years, we've been bringing travelers to Italy. It's where our heart is. First class escorted tours and custom vacations. Italy, the dream destination. PerilloTours.com, 1-800-431-1515. The main point helps guide business owners from the road they've been traveling to the dreams they have for the next. La Dolce Via Travel. We make Italy yours. La Dolce Via Travel dot com. Weekend in Italy dot com. It's all about family. Italy Ancestry dot com. My Italian family. Emilia Romagna. And also made possible by. For more about visiting Italy, additional videos, and a companion travel guide, please visit dreamofitaly.com.